Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Sega. Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Nike, the company that believes every kid has the right to play. Ghost Rider's big bank posse includes public television viewers like you, the few charitable trusts, the corporation for public broadcasting, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, and the National Endowment for Children's Educational Television. They provide a cash flow, don't you know? We don't know where he came from. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. He wants to be friends with us. But he can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. Okay, team, let's rewind. Here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, Gabby finds a sad-looking bird standing on top of a box that reads Brooklyn Chicken. We make them, you bake them. But this bird is no chicken. I'm gonna take care of you from now on. Gabby's father thinks that the bird will be too much trouble, so Gabby promises to take care of the bird by herself. She even puts it in writing. Mr. Fernandez finally gives in. But someone is after that bird. Audubon Poulet and Honey Hawk want the bird back, and they mean business. Meanwhile, Gabby's having trouble feeding the bird. He won't eat anything. So Gabby asks Calvin Ferguson for help. Calvin says they have to find out what kind of bird it is, and then they'll know what he'll eat. Let's start by checking out his beak, feathers, and feet. They compare Gabby's bird to pictures of birds in science books and figure out that it's a parrot. Now that we know he's a parrot, we can find out what to feed him. Meanwhile, Jamal's cousin Casey is back, and she's up to her old tricks again. I put itching powder on the doorknob and the banister. You <laughs> what? But Jamal thinks she's gone too far. I didn't want to come here anyway. Jamal learns that Casey's mother is in a treatment center for alcoholics. She has a sickness. Emmeline takes one drink, and it leads to more and more drinking. She can't stop. So Casey might be living with them for a while. Now, back to the bird. Honey Hawk finds Gabby's memo pad at the dumpster and figures out that Gabby has the bird and she lives in Fort Greene. Who is Honey Hawk and why would she leave a bird in a dumpster? Is Gabby headed for trouble? Get a pencil in your casebook out and start piecing the puzzle because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Mr. Poulet, I'm convinced it's a girl named Gabby. I found her memo pad near the dumpster where I stashed the bird. Is that supposed to impress me, Ms. Hawk? Oh, but, but, but look what she wrote. I found a bird, and I'm going to keep it. Where is she? Where has she taken my bird? I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that she goes to a school in Fort Greene, and that her school is sponsoring a recycling drive, so all I have to do is find the school, and her goose is cooked. Your culinary comment leaves me cold. Now find that girl and bring me my bird! Six seventeen in the morning. all over my store, fuera de la bodega. Uh, don't you laugh at me, you, you bird. Papa, no! Ay, Dios mío. You scared him, 
papá? I'm scared him. That thing almost gave me a heart attack. ¿Qué es lo que pasa aquí? Shh. Don't be afraid. Papá didn't mean it. Come on. Come to Gabby. Hey. You're supposed to keep that bird in your room. You had a contract, right? I forgot to close my door, so he got out. Looks like he paid me a little visit, too. Look, we did to my book report. Yeah, hey, sir. It's bird doo-doo. OK. You got something against the Maltese Falcon? I'm sorry, Papa. I'm sorry, Alex. He didn't mean any harm. Maybe he's just not used to living with people. Please help me get him down. Yeah, I hope you get him Papa! up. Papa! All right, I'll get a ladder. I hope Papa doesn't make me get rid of my bird. Ah, oh, Calvin. What's he doing here so early? to read it. Maybe it's a goodbye letter. I'll never see her again. Casey, what are you doing? It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm sorry, I can't sleep. Don't be mad. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Come here, little cuz. Tell me, why can't you sleep? You worried about your mom? Come here. You want to talk about it? Well, you know that when you're ready to talk, I'm here for you. And so is Grandma, and so is my mom and my dad. Yeah, I know you want to talk to your mommy. Mm-hmm. She'll be able to call you in a day or two. She just needs a little time to feel better. I can make her laugh. With one of your riddles, right? I got more than one. All right, well, uh, why don't we just write them down in a letter, and we can mail them to her, OK? All right. Mm -hmm. Dear Mommy, hmm. Mm hmm. What are you trying to pull, Calvin? Yeah. Why are you here so early? I've been up all night trying to figure out what kind of parrot this is. Why? I suspect you might have a very rare and valuable bird here. What? How would you know? This book has colored pictures of all 332 species of parrots. Now, I can make a careful scientific comparison. Let me see, let me see. Oh, that's so fast. I have to do this scientifically. I want to be sure I know exactly what kind of parrot this is. Oh, yeah? Well, we already know exactly what kind of creep you are, right, Gab? Shh. This could be important, Alex. Hmm. Ready. 
plumage, that means feathers. What color are those feathers? Uh, duh. Black. Grayish black. Right. His beak is the same color. Yeah, and he has pink cheeks that he can cover with feathers. What about his tongue? What's his tongue like? Say ah, say ah for Gabby. Feed him the food, Doctor. There, it's red and has a black tip. I was right. I was right. I am a genius. What did you find out? There's only one parrot with all this plus this kind of crest on his head. Palm cockatoo. You're a palm cockatoo. And you could be a very rich girl. Huh? Look, kid, I don't know what this bird was doing in the dumpster, but whoever owns it's going to want it back big time. You're not going to sell my bird. I don't want to sell him. I want to return him to his rightful owner. Since one of you has such a heart of gold, Calvin, since I realized the real owner's gonna want his bird back bad enough to give me a big reward. I knew it. You stay away from him. He's uh. mine. Get out of my room. You haven't heard the last of Calvin Ferguson. Have a beautiful day. early bird catches the worm, Miss Hawk. Yes, I know that, Mr. Poulet. Then why aren't you out catching my palm cockatoo? But I'm working It on... makes my blood boil when I think of all the years I've spent searching for a palm cockatoo. All the plans that failed. All the money spent to find my ultimate prize. I will be able to track down that... Girl, Mr. Poulet, I've made a list of all of the addresses and phone numbers of all of the elementary schools in Fort Greene, and when I find out which one is sponsoring a recycling drive, I'm sure I will lead me to the girl. I don't care about the girl. I want my back! Here it is. Let me read it. Dear Mommy, I miss you. I hope you get well soon so I can come home. Here are some riddles. What does a baby bird call its parents? Mother and feather. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Casey. What has four wheels and flies? A garbage truck. <laughs> hey. Ghost Trotter really likes that one. <laughs> Yeah. I hope these riddles make you laugh. Please feel better, Mom. I love you. Love. Casey. That's a good letter, Casey. Thanks. Can we mail it now? <laughs> I think we should wait and get a little bit more sleep. And then we can mail it when we get up, okay? Okay. All right. Good night, Casey. You mean good morning. <laughs> good morning, Casey. It's done. I don't know about this, Lenny. But, Gabby, your dad said you had to try and find out who the bird belongs to. Lose a bird? Found. Palm cockatoo. Color, grayish black. Band number, TUB016. Call Gabby at 555-8943. I think we're saying too much about the bird. We should only put a little bit of information on the flyer. That way, when someone calls, they'll have to identify the bird to prove they own it. What should we take out? Take out palm cockatoo. And replace it with parrot. How about unusual parrot? Then they'll have to describe it. OK. And take out the color description and the band number. The real owner should know these things.
doesn't leave much information, Gabby. Read what's left. Lose a bird? Found. Unusual parrot. Call Gabby at 555-8943. I think it's perfect. Okay, I'll print it out. I'll get it. Who is it? Hector and me. You two are just in time to help Lenny hang some lost bird flies around the neighborhood. But I thought you wanted to keep them. I do, but Papa said I have to make sure he's not somebody else's pet first. Besides, I don't want Calvin trying to get some big reward. If someone can prove they're the real owner, they can have him back for free. Such a nice hairstyle. <laughs> Those are feathers. The feathers on top of its head are called a crest. <laughs> hey, look, Ghost Rider likes the bird too. <laughs> Like when you go on a school trip. Yeah, it says where you're leaving from and where you're going to. See? It says that right here. From Australia to New York. So that means your bird must be from Australia. Where's Australia? I think Ghost Rider wants to know the same thing. Wow, Australia is real far away from the United States. Sure is. I wonder how he got all the way from Australia and wound up in a dumpster. Let's see what else it says. Casey, check the tag on my bird's leg to see if it's the same number as this permission slip. Okay. T-U-B-016. It's the same. That proves this is my bird's permission slip. What's the scientific name? It's the name that people all over the world use no matter what language they speak. Sure is a hard name. Calip... Calitorhicus? Calypto something chus? Hey, Casey, you want to give it a try? Uh-uh. Those words are too big for my mouth. Let's just make it Calypso Funeral. <laughs> Calypso Funeral? Well, it sort of looks like that. <laughs> I like Calypso Calypso music. I like Calypso Calypso music. I like Calypso Calypso music. Hey, why don't you call your bird Calypso? That's a nice name. Hmm, I don't know. Calypso. Could be for a boy or a girl. <laughs> I think he likes it. <laughs> Yay, Calypso! I'm gonna use all this information to make up questions. Anyone who calls about Calypso is gonna have to prove they're the owner before I give him away. Apurata, Hector. I promised Casey I'd pick her up so she can visit with Calypso. If you're in such a hurry, then why are we going this way? I want to stop by the dumpster where I found Calypso to see if my memo pad is there. Ghost Rider must remember where I left it. Looking for Calypso? Shh. Could this be something? Ah, it looks like a disguise. It could be a mustache. It could be eyebrows. What's that disguise for? No, see? Ah, it's a beard. Okay. Make it on that. Oh. Let's go ask him about Calypso. Espera. Who's trying to encontrar algo? Talk escaped? 
Hey, what the? Maybe they know something. What do you say? When he talks. <laughs> Me too. I'm trying to teach him to say my name. Watch. Say Gabby. Say Gabby. Say Gabby. <laughs> After he learns your name, can we teach him my name too? Sure, why not? Look what else I'm trying to teach him. Calypso, come to Gabby. Come on. He's biting himself. No, no, he's preening. That's how they take care of their feathers and make themselves look nice. Oh. I guess he doesn't have combs where he comes from. <laughs> right. I was reading a book on palm cockatoos in the library. In the rainforest, cockatoos live together in family groups and help print each other. Like when my mom braids my hair? Uh-huh. Well, sort of. Except feathers are more like zippers. Watch. When they get messed up, they can just zip them right back up with their beaks. Wow. I wish my braids could just zip back together. Hey, Gabby, there's a phone call for you in the bodega. Who is it, Tina? No, you'd better bring your list of questions. Yeah, somebody's calling about Calypso. Yeah, that's the right number. OK, last question. Where did Calypso, I mean, your bird come from? Australia. Great, Australia. You answered all the questions right. You must be the real owner. Of course I'm the real owner. And I appreciate you taking care of my sweet birdie. I'll have to give you a reward just as soon as I get him back. That's all right. I don't want a reward. I enjoyed watching your bird. But if you ever need someone to look after him, I'll be glad to... Well, if I ever need a bird sitter, you'll be the first person that I call, Gabby. Now, where do you live? I live in Fort Greene. Fernandez Bodega. That's my family store. Do you need my address? Uh, no, I've got a better idea. You see, I'm an old woman, and it's very difficult for me to get around. So why don't you meet me on the corner of Myrtle Avenue and Cumberland Street? That way I won't have to go so far. Could you do that for me, dearie? Yeah, sure. Yes, come on, then. I'll be waiting for you. I have to go now. Hurry. You're doing the right thing, Gabby. Yeah, Calypso is probably the only company that that little old lady has. I know, but I still don't want to give him up. Can I keep this to remember him by? Sure, why not? You better hurry up, Gab. The old lady's waiting. I got big news. She's gone. She went to return the bird. Oh, no, no, no. No what, Calvin? Guess what I found out about palm cockatoos in this magazine. What? Palm cockatoos aren't allowed in the United States. It's illegal to bring them into this country. So then how did Calypso get here? He was smuggled in. Snuggled? Smuggled. Someone had to sneak him into this country. And that's against the law. Calypso didn't have to sneak in. He has a permission slip. Where'd you find this? It was in the box with the bird. And he has the same number on his cage. I can't believe it. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? In the book, the scientific name for a palm cockatoo is Probiscagira ateramus. But on the permit, the scientific name is Clyptorhynchus funeris. Is that how you really say Clypso funeral? Mm-hmm. <laughs> how could you just read those big scientific words so easily? Well, when I was a kid, I was really into dinosaurs. After memorizing the scientific names of most of the dinosaurs in the encyclopedia, this is easy. This book is definitely not wrong. The smugglers must have put the wrong scientific name on this permit. But why would they do that? 
so they could fool the people into thinking the bird was allowed to come to this country. So that means So that, that means Gabby is giving the bird to a smuggler, a sneak, a thief. Do you know what, how much that bird is worth? How much? Ten, maybe twenty thousand dollars. No what? way, a bird could be worth that much money. Come on. That sounds pretty ridiculous, Calvin. But Calypso is a rare bird, and rare things are worth a lot of money. Exactly. It could have been ours. We could have sold it. Do you know how many parrots can be bought with twenty thousand dollars? And now it's too late. And all because no one ever wants to listen to Calvin. <laughs> Do-gooders have learned your lesson. What he says is true. Maybe it's not too late. Do you know they're supposed to be meeting the old lady? Myrtle and Cumberland. Then let's get over there. If we hurry, maybe we can stop Gabby. I'll clue in Ghost Rider. Can't turn back now. is brought to you in part by Nike, the company that believes every kid has the right to play. Ghost Rider's big bank posse includes public television viewers like you, the Pew Charitable Trust, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, and the National Endowment for Children's Education and Television. They provide a cash flow, don't you know? 